Is NASCAR about to have multiple video games? Big time NASCAR video game news for everybody because it tends to be a pretty hot button issue considering how poorly motorsport games has been. According to Insider Gaming's Mike Straw, NASCAR has terminated their exclusive rights deal with motorsport games, meaning they're not going to have one going forward. Praise Dale. So because of that, NASCAR is now open to other studios doing video games. And according to Mike, multiple studios, yes, you heard that correctly, multiple studios are working on NASCAR games at the moment. Let's start with the motorsport games portion of this. It's no secret that motorsport games has struggled harder than Stephen Wallace did in his NASCAR career to the point where like NASCAR Ignition 21 was a bigger pile of garbage than Cyberpunk 77, which is saying a lot because NASCAR Ignition is really bad. I mean, it's it's honestly one of the worst video games I've ever played. And it's so bad that I played it for five minutes and was like, I'm never thinking about this again. Throw in the fact that they also tried to release the next-gen downloadable content on NASCAR Heat 5, a game that they didn't even develop, and it took them 10 months to put out a year-old roster. Fans were fed up with them, and it sounds like NASCAR was fed up with them as well because they've now essentially, from what Mike Straw said, terminated that exclusive rights deal going forward, and Motorsport Games won't be involved in anything that NASCAR is doing, thankfully. The bad news is, if you're an IndyCar fan and you've been begging for an IndyCar video game since there hasn't been one since IndyCar Series 2005, I believe is the last time they put out a video game, unfortunately Motorsport Games is going to continue developing that through their Australian studio, from the sounds of it, and that game will be out in Q1 of 2024, which likely means the Q4 of 2024 using the roster from 2022, probably? Because why wouldn't it? At the same time, Penske could easily have just ended that exclusive rights deal, but because it's a series run by geriatrics, I love IndyCar. I want IndyCar to succeed at every turn, but they do tend to make all of these old man deals, which don't make any sense, and they don't really do anything for the fan base or people that actually want to play this video game, which is highly unfortunate. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe, right? No? All right, it's not going to be good. Now for the multiple studios portion of what Mike Straw said, and if you hear him in his clip, he goes, Ma and then he says, studios are working on this game, which, on, on games, I should clarify that. So by the sounds of it, it sounds like multiple studios are working on games. He says multiple studios, he does not say multiple games, he says multiple studios. So that could mean one of two things. You either have uh, multiple studios working on multiple games, meaning that NASCAR fans are going to be treated with multiple console video games, which is not a bad thing at all. Competition is great, right? Or it could just be multiple studios underneath one umbrella working towards one game, which we've seen that before, right? Like Rockstar has multiple studios that all work towards Grand Theft Auto and every other big video game has that as well. So that could also be something that is going on. At the same time though, it's nice to hear, right? That there are already multiple studios working on games, which hopefully means that we won't have to wait until 2025 to get a video game. I'm not sure what the timeline is. I would love for it to be 2024. I honestly think it may end up being 2025, which is unfortunate. At the same time though, at least something is in the pipeline, maybe. This feels a lot like the NFL 2K uh, versus Madden series. And of course, EA saw the competition from NFL 2K, which was a really solid game. Actually, it was great. I wish that title and that series continued on. And they bought up the exclusive rights deal with the NFL, so that's why you only get Madden every year with its very minor changes, and then everybody gets online and complains about it. You know the whole thing that's been going on. If you bought a Madden, I haven't bought a Madden since Madden 2010, and I'll be honest, I don't think I'm missing anything. I haven't played Madden in 15 years now, or 13, 14 years, whatever it is. Nothing, I don't think I'm missing much, but NASCAR having multiple studios working on games or game is definitely a step in the right direction. And now you're probably wondering, who are these studios that are working on games? Well, of course, we don't actually know who it is yet. Obviously, there's still announcements coming. There will probably be further leaks and everything that goes along with that. But I'm just going to take a stab in the dark here and say that I hope, this is me thinking out loud, I hope it's Monster Games, the creators of the World of Outlaws video game, their iRacing company as well now. I hope that they're working on one of the games, or the game in general, because that World of Outlaws game is one of the most fun console racing games that has been put out in a long time. It's well done, it's easy to pick up, and you can just go have fun. And that's what a console racing game is supposed to be. I see a ton of people saying like, oh, we need iRacing for you know, consoles. We don't, we absolutely do not. I, I think I speak for a fair number of people when I say that I just want a video game that I can just go sit on the couch 
and just play a NASCAR game real quick. If I want the iRacing experience, I'll come up here to my office and I'll fire up the sim and then sit down and do that. I, they're two totally different things and there's a marketplace for both of them, but I don't think that marketplace should be combined into one, which is kind of what some people want. So I hopefully it stays like that World of Outlaws game. If you want to set your wheel up and do everything for that, totally fine. If you want to play with the controller, also fine. It's an easy game for everybody to pick up. Outside of monster games, the other studio that makes sense and I think everybody would love to see is a title to come out from Codemasters. The makers of the F1 game, they're now part of the EA Sports family and I, need, I hear a ton of people say that NASCAR needs to go back to EA and I think there's a bit of, you know, revisionist history there. Uh, I think there's a ton of people that are maybe have this idea and they loved it at the time. They're romanticizing the idea of going back to EA games, but it basically was like a Madden title and not a ton changed every year. And the, you know, the physics were okay. They weren't the best. I think Monster Games does a pretty good job as well. I think Codemasters does a much better job at that. So, you know, having Codemasters now part of the EA family, that's great. I, if that's what they end up going with, I'm totally fine with that. Are we going to get microtransaction to death? Probably at some point, yes. But at least the game will be good, maybe, hopefully. We'll see what happens there. I know other people have mentioned like Turn 10 Studios, which I agree with. I love the Forza games as well. But at the same time, that would be an Xbox exclusive. And NASCAR right now really can't afford to go exclusive and knock out basically 50% of the console video game space as well. So hopefully it's one of those two studios. If there are other studios out there, let me know. Obviously, I'm not the most versed in my video game news outside of what's happening, maybe in iRacing and with these NASCAR games and Formula One games. But, you know, it's going to be, it's good, right? There's a step in the right direction. And I, obviously, we're still waiting on this September announcement, whatever that's going to be. Hopefully, it's NASCAR announcing that they're going with a different developer. And we can all see who that is and maybe get a sample of what the game could possibly look like. Since sounds like some people are working on it. Either way, just the fact that they're not going back to motorsport games is a massive win for everybody that wants to play a console video game. And we can all hold on to our NASCAR Ignition 21 games as a relic to what was the worst NASCAR game to ever be produced. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at BreakHardBlog.